So what's the connection of a scrubber and an interrupt routine? And it connects again with ROP. Got completely unintentionally. Motivation. So we had the problem that our central heating was broken. And the old one was natural gas based. And my wife and I decided we want to reduce the carbon dioxide uh, footprint. So our initial idea was to use an ice heating. What this I can explain out of sight of this talk, it's great technology, but far too expensive. So I started reading about heat pumps. Three kinds of heat pumps exist. Water air, water with water deep uh, borehole and uh, water uh, planar slip ring. The first two didn't uh, apply for us, so I chose the third one. So what you do, on the, uh, on the right side, it's more or less, that's your house. And on the, right, uh, on the left side, sorry, and on the right side, you put pipes into your garden. And for our house, we needed 300 meter. I don't know what this is in feet. And um, about, there has to be one point meter deep. I think it's about four feet, more or less for the British people. And, um, well, <clears throat> since we had, we want to spare some money. Ah, so, uh, and then we had, I had start planning to, um, <clears throat> how to do this and how to put this into the ground because we have some plants and some trees and I didn't want to cut them. So I made a sketch of our garden and I started to use these uh, scribe, uh, scribers and uh, put uh, small uh, arrows and try to bring 300 meters into our garden. After the first planning, I did it in real life. <laughs> so this is more or less 300 meters. And then I start digging. It's great fun for the kids too. And the lawn got some dense, as my sister call it. So at here at the bottom, you see an example of the pipe which uh, had to go into the ground. So this kind of connection. So <clears throat> there's a uh, connection which go into the garden, and the other side go into our house. Uh, the next part, which is going into the house, that was it's not my domain. So I took uh, our local planner. So this is in the end how it uh, works. And <clears throat> so the interface, um, there is a way to, or you can buy, or I could bought an interface uh, with all kind of fancy stuff, but it was way too expensive for, for what's inside. So I say, well, I think I know how to do this, and I uh, did this. So via an serial interface, <clears throat> I connected to a Raspberry Pi. Great invention by, I think, someone here in Britain. And I read all the re relevant data with the Python program, stored them in an influx database. And whenever some kind of problem occurs, so some kind of error codes was written or sent by uh, the uh, system, I got an email. And all the graphics display I do with Grafana. Um, the next point is uh, I wanted to measure exactly how much power the complete system is consuming. And um, there's a small device in our, uh, our electricity box, and it sends one pulse per, uh, per watt. I just connect this uh, line with a GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi. And then I ac accumulate all the pulses for an interrupt routine. And again, I store that everything in the infl influx database. So it's a very, very short uh, program which in the end is there. You just have an atomic counter that is called by the interrupt routine and it's uh, just uh, counting. Um, <clears throat> it's just increased <clears throat> and every minute I uh, read out the value and reset it to, to zero and then it's stored. So, and in the end, I get such, uh, such a graph, so outside temperature, temperature compressor, pump power and all the other things and uh, Grafana is a great tool. The last learned, don't be afraid of product size. And <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Felix.